All right, guys, welcome to Spot Crew Motorsports, the best tour reviews, tool tutorials, and motorsports on YouTube. So what we're gonna be doing today is a review on these Pro Taper Pillow Top Grips. Uh, we got the two dirt bikes out here. I've had these grips on here for five years. This bike hasn't been had a lot of use. This bike has had a lot of use. And then we have a Honda Rux out here that shows what, you know, the stock grips that come with it, uh, how, you know, how they are, um, the cheap ones that come with a dirt bike. So here we go. Um, they're pro type or the what are the tri density mx grips from motocross grips if you want to read all this you can pause it and uh read through it it's the same stuff that it says on pro taper's website we're just going to look where it says one two and three uh number one anti-rip tip increases the life of the grip i don't know if anyone ever anyone has ever seen a grip that's actually missing the bar end um i have i see a lot of them on craigslist um, i don't know if i've ever had a grip rip off from a bad crash but um they're ready to be replaced here. They, uh, if a bike sl falls over and slides on something like this with stone, um, it's possible that the grip will rip like that, but rip and fall all the way off. So these bikes, obviously, I've never had these grips rip. Um, so I would say that that is effective. Um, the soft pillow top that eliminates vibration. This is the main thing that I agree with with these bikes, because if you look at the Honda Ruckus, this is almost like plastic. It's the hardest rubber you will hold. Then you look at a bike like this, it truly is what they call it, a pillow top. It, uh, it's soft, it's squishy, you can actually squeeze it. So uh, it's pretty interesting. And then lastly, inner core that uh, grips the bar like a vise. Um, they're just talking about where this meets right here and that it grabs it pretty tightly. So if you wanna watch a video also, I'm posting a video about how to install dirt bike grips. So if you wanna look in the link below, um, that's where you'd find out how to install dirt bike grips. But we'll keep talking right now about how they are. So again, 2015 is when I bought these grips. It's 2020 right now. So five years, this bike hasn't had a whole lot of use and that's why they actually look almost brand new. Um, incredible shape. They didn't dry rot, they didn't deteriorate. That's the main point I wanna make here. Five years, zero dry rot. Zero deteriorate. Uh, it's fallen a couple times. Got a little tear. Could be replaced. Um, make sure you replace grips when they have a rip in them and a tear in them because that could be dangerous. If it flies off, your hand can actually come off the end, and now you have now you're gonna fall. Um, now these these have been used relentlessly. Um, I think the throttle side has the most wear, and you can see it actually wore off a little bit. But I mean, I don't know how many hundreds of hours I've had on this bike. So this is pretty, pretty realistic. I mean, I shouldn't say hundreds, but a lot of hours um, in five years of riding. That's five full seasons. And um, I've definitely used them like uh, not, not just around town. It's mostly enduro stuff. So I'm um, not racing or anything, just enduro off, uh, off the beaten path. So uh, let me know, link below let, or comment below. I'm sorry, comment below if you have these grips. And main thing I want you to comment below is if you have, these were $14 on Amazon, um, the $12.95 on Pro Taper's website, but then you have to pay for shipping. Um, $14 on Amazon with the free two day shipping, but they have universal grips on Amazon for $7 that use Pro Taper's pictures. If you've ever bought those grips that look like this on Amazon for $7, please comment below if they came in the Pro Taper package, because I want to know if they're actually Pro Taper or if they're actually just an off brand that won't be worth it. So I would say that these are the comfiest grips I have ever had. They have lasted a long time and they're durable. They're, they're just all around great grips for trail riding. Uh, I've never had them on a race bike. I've seen them on race bikes, um, but for trail riding or for a comfy grip, something like that off-road, I would say that they are 10 out of 10. I would not rate these anything other than 10 out of 10. I have nothing negative to say about them. So I really hope this video helps. Uh, please comment below with any feedback and like and subscribe. So, all right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.